Now, China has grabbed a pound of flesh in Bhutan. It's a story we've seen many times before. Different settings, but the same strategy. A porous border, a weak neighbor, and an expansionist superpower. This has happened with Nepal, then Myanmar, the latest target, Bhutan. A new report has come up. It carries some satellite imagery, which claims to show Chinese expansion into territory previously controlled by Bhutan. Now, the timing of this report, it's interesting. It comes as China negotiates a border agreement with the Himalayan nation. But it seems that China's strategy of pushing for settlement in disputed areas, it's once again superseded the ongoing border talks. Now, take a look at this image. It's been released by Chatham House. This image was captured on the 1st of December. It claims to show new outposts in Bhutan's remote Jakarlung Valley, an area that is part of the Bayul Khanpajong region. China has constructed settlements and road networks. They're apparently part of new villages which China is building in an attempt to grab disputed territory. The report adds that China is engaged in construction activity of at least 129 buildings in the region. These buildings appear to be residential quarters. In another settlement, a short distance away, China is also constructing at least 62 buildings. That's not all. China has also reportedly deployed PLA troops in or near these settlements in these areas. Now, here's the thing. These images have emerged at a time when the Chinese government is pushing Bhutan to establish direct diplomatic relations. This is added to the complexity of the geopolitical situation. Now, according to reports, Bhutan and China have held 25 rounds of boundary talks so far. And during these talks, both sides have agreed to conclude negotiations and advance the process of setting up official diplomatic ties. In fact, in October this year, former Bhutanese Prime Minister Lotte Schering had said in an interview that he hopes to see a line being drawn to demarcate which territory belongs to which side. In the same interview, he had not rejected the possibility of a land swap between Bhutan and China as part of the border deal. Now, you must also know this that this is not a standalone issue. Bhutan and China have been engaged in boundary talks since 1984. These talks have focused on mainly three disputed areas, Jakarlung and Pasamlung areas in North Bhutan and the Doklam area in West Bhutan. But the question is, will Bhutan want to have diplomatic relations with China knowing that it has encroached upon its land? That's the dilemma the government of Bhutan is facing right now. Now, what about India? Does this issue affect India? Well, to some extent it does. You see, India plays the role of Bhutan's security guarantor. A role that has been established through treaties in 1949, then updated in 2007. This, it's added another layer to the region's political dynamic. How? Well, simply because a deal between Thimpu and Beijing could directly impact India's own borders with China. There's a fear that it could lead to a swapping of Doklam an area located close to the tri-junction between India, Bhutan and China. India considers Doklam as an undisputed territory of Bhutan. China, it regards it as an extension of the Chumbi Valley, which lies between Sikkim and Bhutan. Now, this is what the Chatham House had to say in its report. Allow me to quote here. New Delhi would be concerned that in the event of a deal demarcating Bhutan's northern border, attention may turn to territory in Bhutan's west, which China disputes, including the Doklam Plateau. So naturally, India is bound to be wary of the developments. Now, the days ahead are crucial. They will determine what becomes of this raging geopolitical issue. And as China grabs the land of one neighbor, it is warning another neighbor to pay defense bills. I'm talking about Pakistan. According to a new report, China has issued a stern warning to Pakistan over delayed payments for defense equipment, a warning that hints at potential disruptions in the supply chain for the Pakistani army. Now, this report, it states that Pakistan owes China $1.5 billion in payments, mostly pertaining to the purchase of artillery and missile systems. Experts say China is using this debt to build pressure on Pakistan. In fact, a meeting was held recently. In attendance were senior officials from both nations. Now, during this meeting, the Chinese side is said to have emphasized on the critical nature of timely payments. 
This meeting, it underscored Pakistan's heavy reliance on China for defense requirements. How, if prolonged, it could mount trouble for Pakistan and jeopardize the completion of key projects. The question is, what led to this? Weren't China and Pakistan iron brothers? Well, they certainly were. But as they say in geopolitics, there are no permanent friends or enemies, only interests. And Pakistan is learning this lesson the hard way. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.